What's up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be listening to Suffocation, Effigy of the Forgotten. I threw the B-side on just for Frank Mullen's hair and the fact he's wearing a Trump Plaza t-shirt. Who would have known? But anyways, this fucking album. Just watch my awesome albums video on it and yeah, killer shit. And today it's been a while, I know, but uh... We'll be reviewing this 2013-2014 release by uh, Dark Descent Records, and that is going to be London, England's Lucifer Sun Eater on Dark Descent Records, and holy fucking hail to Satan. Like, total love letter to the Dark Lord. Amazing. This is uh, on the limited red. Um... Not sure on numbers or anything like that, but I'm not sure why I don't hear people talk about how fucking amazing this album is. Like, first off, like, Sun Eater, I know it's kind of weird because it's spelled with, like, V's and stuff instead of U's, and that might turn you off from the start, depending on, you know, how metal you are or whatever. And the same thing with the backwards E. Like, when I first saw this, I honestly was like, and it's probably like I didn't really look at the artwork. I, my eye went straight to the logo, and I was like, eh, "There's backwards letters." And uh, then I listened to this and looked at the artwork, and was like, "Holy fuck! I need this album." And luckily, at the Dark Descent Records distro table, um, if you're going to the California Swap Meet, go hit up Matt and everybody and. Seriously, they have so much good shit. Not just Dark Descent releases, just, oh my god, like, good prices as well. Like, you don't have to pay shipping. Like, the, for example, Conquer, you know, the, the double LP is only $25. Like, fuck yeah. So, get that shit. Go visit those guys. Same thing with Maryland Death Fest. Uh, I think they're doing Maryland Death Fest. But anyways... There's some awesome artwork as well, like on one side you have this like ritualistic dagger and on the other, I don't know why I just did that, that was stupid, but uh, it has this like badass chalice, but pretty much this kind of reminds me a lot of fellow countrymen Grave Miasma, like a lot, and uh, even Dead Congregation. And this is like pretty much a perfect, perfect, perfect blend of blackened death metal. Like, it's pretty much just straight up black, I mean, straight up death metal, but like, it's black metal aspects really, really shine through. Like, there's some 1993 super frantic, like, you know, tremolo riffing and just to holy shit the, the drumming is just a total you know assault of evil and it's awesome like the fucking poster this album comes with like look at this fucking monstrosity it's it's just the cover artwork but it's beautiful and just awesome like fuck yeah has the lava and everything like awesome and it gets even fucking better like the whole packaging it's just so cool like the insides red like I'm glad this is one of the, the few times where like you know getting like a certain color like red like it matches everything to where you know well, even black, you know, black would work as well, so it, never mind, I take, I take that back, but I am glad to, you know, own this on red, because I think it looks fucking cool as shit, along with all the artwork and whatnot, because that's the direction this album was obviously going for, so fuck yeah, it's only appropriate, I think, to, you know, have red and whatnot, but whatever. It's just me rambling because I smoked right before I made this video. But, so good, man.
everything about it is just like evil as fuck. Like you know, I love like some. Sometimes you just need some like you know. I hate. I don't want to say like negative shit in your life because you never really want negative negative shit unless that's your thing and you like being miserable all the time. But like sometimes you just need like just that vicious. Christ bashing, evil, ritualistic, heavy as fuck death metal. Like this band, like I said, it really reminds me of like Grave Miasma, Dead Congregation, just stuff along those lines where it's just super evil lyrically and musically. It's just like, you know, like fuck yeah, like where did that riff come from? Like the drumming sounds like a straight up fucking assault, but. The songwriting is also amazing, like, the way, like, when I say black and death, I mean, like, sometimes the vocals are black metal, and then other times they're just straight, brutal, just caveman style death metal vocals, and it's not like a good cop, bad cop, you know, like, carcass type, uh, nec you know, like, necroticism, error, carcass good cop, bad cop style vocal, and there's nothing wrong with that depending on the band. Certain bands pull that shit off great, and other times it's like, ah, like my, shut up, like your vocals hurt my head, but on this, like, uh, I forget what other band uh, the drummer uh, Menthor is in, um, but like, a lot of this also, this just popped in my head, like, they pretty much, like, imagine if, like, Dead Congregation and Death Spell Omega, like, just collided and met up with, like, Behemoth. Like, th there's definitely some Behemoth inspiration on this record, like, from its, you know, chaotic parts. Too, it's just drumming in, in general, I think. It, it really reminds me of, like, Demigod Error Behemoth. And the only reason I'm saying Demigod Error is because that's kind of the only Error of Behemoth I really know outside of uh, the Satanist. And, uh, again, I don't really know who even plays on that besides, you know, Nurgle, Nurgle, whatever. I See, I don't really, I'm not a Behemoth fan. I can't even know, I don't even know the guys. I, it's Adam, I know that. He has the same name as me, but is it, yeah, it's Nurgle, or I think Nurgle, whatever. But that's cool he beat, you know, fucking cancer and shit. But let me get to this album again. I'm sorry I got off track. But first off, just that band photo rules. But everything about this, like, it's just amazing, and a lot of it, like, it's straight up, like, you know, like I was saying, I think it's really that, you know, evil and whatnot, where it's like, alright, I guess if I read these, you know, maybe it will be like, you know, the band Sacrifix from the film The Gate, where the record they listen to is so evil it actually opens up a gate to hell. But like seriously, like I, I can't speak Latin and I don't under understand Latin. So some of this, it's just like, I have no idea what the fuck these guys are, are saying. Like on Fiery Spheres of Seven, on Kai, on Kai, on, it, and it goes on and on. Oh, of Anu and Kiai, bearers of the devouring throne, heralds of the baneful storm. And it's just, it's, like, I can't read half these words, and it's awesome. Unto the harlot of death they bring, I shall pour forth blood to you. I shall utter the spell unto you and raise the ghost unburied, ghost which none cared for. Like, there you go. There's some lyrics that are actually in English. But, like, the title track, Sun Eater... Behold, black shadow, God slaying the world. No darkness can be washed away from the path he chooses. He chooses to go forth, abysmal howling from dormant depths. Within the order of Mata, he swallows the crown. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't know that much. Is this Kali or Shiva? I could see the trident. I'm not sure. It's one of those two, but either way, this is some evil fucking shit. Like, for real, I love this stuff. I'm just trying to see, um... Sorry, I wanted to see who did the art. Oh, uh, T. Coletta. Is he in the band? I'm not sure. I guess he... That might be T. Chaos. I'm not sure. But yeah, man, this is seriously some fucking fire. Like, if you're into, you know, the whole ritualistic, like, uh... Death metal with, like, you know... Like I said, there there's some black metal elements on here, especially in the lyrics. But vocally, uh, like I said, it kind of goes back and forth depending on what song it is. But for the most part, it's very, very just brutal. You know, when I say brutal, I mean like it sounds like it's something from 1991 in Finland. Like, you know, just totally cavernous awesome if you like dead congregation and grave miasma then you are going to love lucifer and hell even if you're just a fan of like behemoth then again i i suggest checking this out like just from its chaotic nature to its lyrical content to its 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 vocal performance the vocal performance on here it's uh, it's not stock or anything. It's great and it it kind of stands out, but it's just kind of like you know that whole just ca if you're in the cavernous, just kind of like not super guttural, just you know, just awesome death metal vocals. Then yeah, this is fucking awesome. Like when I first heard it, I was just like, this was. This came out in 2013 or 2014. Like, what the fuck? Where was I? How did I not hear about this release? Like, god damn it. <laughs> it's seriously so good. Like, Night Sea Sorcery, like, starts off kind of slow and stuff and really builds this momentum. Like, this is a 50 plus minute album, and you might think, like, all right, that, that, that seems a little bit much. If that if this is too vicious for you, like, just listen to one side at a time. You're, but you're gonna want to listen to the whole thing. Because it's that fucking good, like, seriously, serious. It's, it's fucking amazing. Like, I'm so bummed that I didn't hear this earlier. But just the fact that I have a copy now and I can listen to it whenever that rules and that's all that really fucking matters the color doesn't really matter nothing like that just as long as you can hear these tunes if i had a download code i would hook you guys up but i do not but i'll put in the Bandcamp link where you can get this from dark descent records and enjoy it digitally if you don't have the money at the moment but if you do i cannot recommend this enough again if you're a fan of Grave Miasma, Dead Congregation, even Behemoth, this is right up your alley. Death Spell Omega as well. Like, just, there's this kind of chaos that surrounds this album along with its insane atmosphere of evil, which comes from the vocals and the lyrical content as well. Like, just read along and it's like holy shit like these guys are fucking sick and it's cool and it's you know the way you know death and black metal should be it should be fucking evil and you know extreme and that's what this is like this is extreme metal at it's you know kind of not i, I don't want to use the word finest but um definitely at one of its higher points when it comes to records and whatnot like there's plenty of bands that are better than this and there's plenty of albums that are better than this it's just there is something special about this album and i can't really put my fingers on it but it's just something that i know i'll be listening to for years to come and i hope that you know you guys enjoy it as much as i did thanks for watching